Muslims who come to Christ often face hardship, danger, and loneliness. Well, now those who have left everything to follow Jesus can find encouragement in a new video series just launched on the internet. It gives Muslims a safe place to hear the testimonies of people just like them. Missionaries to the Middle East, Tom and Joanne Doyle, are the visionaries behind the I Found the Truth website, and they join us now by Skype. Hey, guys, great to see you. Uh, great to see you, Wendy. <laughs> Wish we were in person, but hey, these are interesting times we're in. Well, let me ask you this. What will people find if they go to IFoundTheTruth.com or I Found the Truth on Facebook? Well, you know, for Christians, they're going to be inspired by these heartwarming stories of Muslims that have, have really counted the cost, given their life to Jesus, and suffered the repercussions. And then for, for Muslims, they're going to hear stories of people that wrestled with the same questions mm -hmm. they're wrestling with, and we hope that God will move in their heart and many will come to faith in Christ. Right, well, that sounds very exciting. Why don't we take a look at one of the trailers right now? I grew up in a Muslim home. I thought I was born a Muslim, I was stamped a Muslim, I'd always be a Muslim. My dad said, Afshin, if you're going to be a Christian, then you can no longer be my son. I said, Dad, if I have to choose between you and Jesus, then I choose Jesus. There's a God who loves me, who isn't waiting for me to be good enough because I will never be good enough. But in Jesus, I found a God who loves me and he came to me, he came to us. Wow. That was so powerful. And there's many more testimonies just like that. Tom and Joanne, how did this idea come to you and why is it important? Well, this is actually something that we have been praying for for over a decade. You know, we would go in all these different Middle East countries, Jordan and Syria and Lebanon, and just think there are so many Muslims out there that need to know the truth of who Jesus is, but there's not a lot of safe places for them to find this information. And then we started hearing so many of these stories of how former Muslims came to faith in Christ. And we thought, gosh, we need to get these stories out. No and oh my gosh, as you saw from, from that little the trailer, trailer mm. they are powerful stories. How did you get them to go on camera? Because like you said, I mean, it can still be very dangerous for a Muslim to go public with their faith. You know, the first five that we've uh, videoed that you'll see on I Found the Truth, all were called by God to do it. But, mm. you know, what he calls you to, he equips you for. And they had a no fear attitude. Well, you guys just launched a week ago. What has been the feedback so far? I noticed even on your, on, you're on the internet, but you're also on Facebook. I noticed even on the Facebook that you're getting a, a lot of uh, comments and a lot of views on, on the videos. You know, they just took off and they're resonating with believers. There's Christians in America that don't know any Muslims have come to mm -hmm. faith in Christ. And so it's exciting for Christians to see what God's doing in the Muslim world. It's very mm -hmm. touching for Muslims to, to see this. One of the uh, first five shared the video with his father, who is a practicing Muslim. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm so proud of you. We have a difference of opinion. But I, I love your heart and your testimony, and I will pass your video on to my friends. Wow. 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 Cool. What do you hope, guys, will be the fruit from this website? I know it's brand new, but when, you know, a year from now, what are you hoping will, will have happened? We're praying that millions of Muslims start a conversation about Jesus, end up coming to the foot of the cross, giving their lives to Jesus. Mm -hmm. One day, Wendy, we pray we run into millions of mm -hmm. Muslims in heaven that found Jesus uh, through these videos. The fastest growing church per capita in the world right now is in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Many Muslims are out there maybe in Saudi Arabia or let's say in the Gaza Strip, and they don't know any other mm -hmm. believers. Right. We just met a believer that came to faith in the Gaza Strip eight years ago. And he didn't know one believer. Mm. He, he thought he was the first believer to come out of a Muslim background. <laughs> wow. So we're praying for millions of Muslims to meet Jesus, the church to be shaken up and, and really be inspired to reach out to them. And for those, I guess we'd call them Lone Ranger Muslims that are out there with no fellowship, that they'll realize they have a big family that loves them. They sure do. And they've got a mama and papa right there. <laughs> Tom and Joanne. Well, the website is called I Found the Truth. It's also on Facebook. Tom and Joanne Doyle, thank you so much for your heart mm. for Muslims in the Middle East. And uh, and I love you guys. Take care. Oh, we thank love you, you too. Wendy. We thank love you. you. Thank you.